So the market's been red hot the last few years, and now we're starting to see all these headlines and articles about things slowing down. If you're curious what's going on right now and what to expect moving forward, you're definitely in the right spot. I wanted to give you some perspective on what we're going through here locally, and also what you can expect if you're planning to buy in the Gainesville area. Hey guys, Donovan here. If you're new to the channel, I am a real estate agent here in Gainesville, Florida. I put out these videos to share with you exactly what you can expect when you're moving to the area. We talk about things like the best schools, the best places to live, all the fun things there are to do here in Gainesville. And if you don't want to miss a thing, make sure you start by clicking the subscribe button and also click the little bell so you get notified anytime I put out a new video. So over the last two years, we have been seeing prices dramatically increasing. Buyers were going twenty dollars to $50,000 over the asking price, waiving appraisals, skipping inspections, all to just get their offer accepted. But all of that's starting to change now. The good news for buyers is we are seeing a shift towards a more balanced market. Now that doesn't mean the market is crashing or homes are selling for dramatically less, but we are seeing a little bit less competition and the disparity between the list price and the sales price has certainly leveled off. So we're no longer seeing long lines outside of an open house. Buyers are also not being rushed to make a quick decision and fear they're gonna miss out on another property. Keep in mind it is still a seller's market, but now sellers aren't sitting back watching 20 showings and 17 offers roll in, going dramatically over the asking price. The list price is reasonable, the offers are reasonable, and things are not nearly as intense as they were just a few months ago. Now there can be a lot of scary headlines out there, but let's talk about it before you make any big decisions. One question that I'm getting on a regular basis right now is how would a recession impact home values? Based on the last six recessions going back to 1980, we can see two of those recessions led to a decrease in value. In 1991, it was a drop of 1.9%, but the more recent well-known recession in 2008 was a decrease of almost 20%. Now keep in mind that 2008 recession was caused by the housing market, so we would expect home prices to take a dramatic hit there. That's one of the big differences between 2008 and the current market. In 2008 and earlier, a lot of buyers were getting loans and mortgages that they honestly could not afford. Whereas right now and over the last couple of years, buyers have really never been more qualified. They've got better credit scores and more cash for down payment and emergency funds. They're also going through much more stringent guidelines to qualify for that financing. So recently, as interest rates quickly approached 6%, we did see a decrease in buyer activity and overall showings. Now that could sound like one of those scary headlines, but really that was a decrease from the most extreme real estate market we've ever seen. If we look at some of those current stats compared to the pre-pandemic times, things are actually still up. For example, in 2001, we saw about 6.1 million home sales, but pre-pandemic, that figure was closer to 5.5. Now in 2022, the experts are forecasting the total home sales to be back in that 6 million range. So very similar numbers when we actually look at appreciation. In 2021, we saw homes appreciate more than 18%. Now historically, appreciation rates are usually closer to about 3.8%. Currently, most of the experts are predicting for 2022 appreciation to be around 10%. So keep that in mind as you keep seeing all of these headlines and national outlets talking about a decrease. Things are definitely decreasing, but that's from the most extreme real estate market we've seen. So it's all still about supply and demand. Even though we did see a dip in demand when those interest rates went up close to 6%, it was still nowhere near enough supply to meet that lower demand. Let's look at some of our local numbers when it comes to supply. As of July 2022, we saw an increase of 23% with 576 active homes on the market. Now let's compare that 576 to years past. There were 465 homes on the market this time last year and in 2020, 570 homes. Going back to 2019, there were 859 homes and in 2018, there were 949 homes. Now keep in mind with almost double the number of active homes on the market in 2018, we were still in a seller's market with far more demand than supply. So real quick, I did want to mention recently, I've had a ton of people reaching out with questions about relocating to Gainesville and I absolutely love it. So if you have any questions about moving to the area, definitely don't hesitate. Give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email. Let me know what questions you have and how I can help.
So if you're a buyer in this current market, here's a few things you can take away from this. Number one, yes, you're exhausted. The last year and longer has been tough, but the market is improving and getting much better day over day for buyers. Number two, there's an old saying, marry the home, date the rate. Interest rates have been all over the place recently, but what you wanna focus on is finding a home that you can afford now. And then that way, if rates decrease later on, you can potentially refinance to a better option. And number three, don't wait for a crash. This is not 2008. We may see some things decrease slightly, but we're not gonna have a humongous crash and price decrease like we did back then. Consider going after homes that have been sitting on the market for a few days or even weeks. We are seeing sellers start to soften and willing to come down on their price if they don't accept a quick offer. So go back and look at some of those homes that you may be passed over and see if you can get them down on price. So I did mention we've seen a slight decrease in demand, but keep in mind, if a perfectly priced home with a great location that's move-in ready hits the market, that house will likely still have multiple offers. For those perfect homes, we are still seeing a lot of demand, so keep that in mind if you're making an offer on one of those popular properties. Hey guys, real quick, I'm actually in the middle of putting this video together and I actually came across another article with a little additional insight that's really up to date. So I thought it would be helpful and I wanted to go ahead and include it. Um, actually, the article here is from Fortune and they reached out to Core Logic, a huge company that gathers tons of data to do an assessment on areas that are likely to have a price drop, what they can expect what percentage they are likely to see a price drop, and they actually included an interactive map. So again, any additional information, especially when you're making a big decision like buying, I thought would be helpful. And actually, as you look closely here, if we can get to Gainesville, they actually have Gainesville marked as very low, uh, which would be basically a zero to 20% chance that we see a significant price drop so again, I just thought that information would be helpful. I'll include a link in the description if you wanna check it out on your own. Now, if you're a seller in this market, you really have to go back to the basics, the old tried and true messages. You wanna declutter everything, get rid of those personal items, all the pictures on the walls, the diplomas and everything else. Clear that stuff out. You're selling the home, not the things. So get your house ready for the market. This is no longer a market where you can just put a sign in the yard and see multiple offers roll in over the asking price. You're gonna have to do a little bit of work, but it's gonna pay off. So go ahead and on the front end, put some effort in to get your home ready for the market so it shows the best it can show. So another quick tip for sellers is gonna to be to go ahead and do a home inspection before the house goes onto the market. It's gonna save you a lot of time, energy, and effort and money if you can do that home inspection and find out some of the challenges or problems with the house before it goes under contract at that point you're rushing to find someone who can do repairs typically you're going to pay a little bit more if you're under contract trying to get repairs done versus having time to bid out projects and get repairs done before the home hits the market so has the market started to shift? Yes, definitely. Like I said, we've seen a slight decrease and we're starting to see inventory start increasing. But like I've said in some of my other videos, you don't wanna time the market. If you're ready and you have the money and the plans and everything's stable to buy a home, go ahead and do it. If you feel more comfortable waiting it out, then don't feel pressured. Wait it out, see what happens. You have to decide what's gonna be best for you and your family. Now that you have a better feel for what's going on in the Gainesville real estate market, what you'll wanna do next is go ahead and watch this video where I drive you around town and share with you some of the most popular neighborhoods in our area.